Good evening, and thank you, everyone. My son is the undisputed champion of the world. And in order for Devin to rise to this level of the sport, I had to elevate to my greatest potential as a parent. And for me, as many of you, that meant learning how to partner to parent. The idea of me being a rapper growing up in Oakland was far-fetched for my family. My mom wanted me to take the traditional route. She wanted me to be a lawyer. My college professor, who they had a relationship, said that I didn't turn in my assignments. Today, on the TED Talk stage, I would like to thank both of them for helping me to be the man that I am. You might ask, how did I become the trainer and the father to the youngest fighter to ever fight at the MGM Grand Garden Arena? Well, let me tell you, it wasn't easy. My son turned down deal after deal for some of, some, from some of hip-hop's biggest moguls and corporate big wigs. I didn't take the traditional route to success. Coming from Oakland, I had an independent mindset. Unfortunately, I took the fastest route to get money, and I ended up with five years in prison. Sadly, if that wasn't enough, I got shot five times all over my body. I decided to leave Oakland and move to Las Vegas to give my boys a better chance at life. Las Vegas was a nice change of pace for me, but for Devin, he wasn't adjusting well to his new environment. He was fighting and fighting and fighting. When I tell you my son was fighting, he was fighting everybody. He was fighting so much at school that I would go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And on my last time going to the school, me going, and knowing my son, I accepted full responsibility for his behavior. But me and him both had to accept the punishment with no resistance. See, I left with Devin. We left together in the car. And I looked over to him because he suspended. And I said, boy, do you think you tough? He looked back up at me like kids do. If I had done something wrong, as if I didn't come to this school time and time and time and time again for you. Well, one thing that I remember while looking into that principal, principal's eyes, big blue eyes, pop a door, and he's looking at me, all I could think of was the warden from one of those prisons insinuating that there's something wrong with Devin, home life that's affecting him at school. Devin wasn't nearly as apologetic as I was. I asked him, if you think you're so tough, I'm going to take you to the boxing gym. And he replied, no problem. <laughs> I found a local gym and an unlucky opponent. The kid was about the same height as Dev, same age, MMA fighter. So I knew that he had every style to tighten himself up, because that's what I want to see. Well, 
they squared off. Devin hit the boy so hard, he went that way and his Velcro tennis shoes went that way. <laughs> the trainer came over to me and he said, your kids are natural. I'd never heard Devin being described this way. From that moment on, I looked at him different. And I was determined to take his natural gift and make him a world champion. And not just a world champion, the best in the world. And I think we're doing a good job right now. A lot of parents might wonder, how do you find the passion in your kid if you're not afforded a lucky opportunity to go to the principal's office? <laughs> well, I say, listen to what you tell your kids not to do. Yeah, I said it. Listen to what you tell your kids not to do. Are they singing really loud? Are they dancing all over the house? Are they beating on the counter tables? Or are they the class clown? Well, guess what? They just might need a YouTube channel. Attention parents, no longer look to the sky for the stars. Let's find them within our children. The first rule to transitioning from parent to partner is understanding that your child will go longer, harder, faster for their dream and not yours. See, I helped design my son's business plan, and he is the boss, Devin Haney Promotions. Well, this one dynamic between us, where he's the boss and I'm his employer, only happens when we're dealing with boxing gloves. See, I am the patriarch of my family but my employer is my son. As parents, we might have a rules-based relationship filled with a bunch of you can'ts, you can, yeses, noes. I never tell my son he can't. I help him to use critical thinking to dissolve, to solve his decisions. My son, like I said, he's turned down opportunities with promoter after promoter after promoter. A lot of the times they look at me for the reason. It's my job to give him the options and then it's his job to decide. After that, I make sure everyone stands on what they signed. That leads to my personal motto, no half-stepping. An OG saying, you know, from back in the day, ain't no half-stepping. Well, I live by that. I embody that to a T along everything that I do alongside Devin. If he wasn't willing to work hard, Challenge everybody, be challenged, eat right, do all the things that make a world champion. We wouldn't be doing this. When he was young, I got a sprinter van. We went from city to city to city to city. All the hotbeds that produce all the great athletes, Baltimore. <laughs> uh, Ohio, Detroit, you name it. I wanted Devin to know that there was no kid anywhere that was just as good as he was. I homeschooled him. Yeah, we did the homeschool thing. 
we wanted to make sure that we got to the gym all around the city, all around the different cities, to all the good fighters that were everywhere. But we had to get there before they got out of school because we didn't want an excuse that they didn't want to spar. Moving from parent to partner means that you are constantly, constantly preparing you and your, your child for adulthood. My son has never been a half stepper. He's what I call a big stepper. He's equipped to move without me. He took a trip to Australia, not once, but twice last year without me. He can choose me as a partner because I've raised him inside the ring and outside the ring to do so. One of the many concerns of parents is how do you put as much effort into one child if you have several? Well, I have four children. Bill Jr., he's Devin's role manager. I have Sean and Bella. They both play tennis. Sean is energetic, hardworking, a free spirit, and I expect great things on and off the court from him. Arabella, my most determined child, she made a, I made a reference to her one day as, as being my princess and her mom being my queen. She says, Daddy, why is mommy your queen and I'm not your queen? I said, well, baby, you are my queen and mommy is my queen too. I have two queens. Some things you just can't explain. Parenting can be a scary proposition for anyone because nobody is perfect. While Devin made those two trips that I talked about to Australia to defend the belt and become undisputed, something that never, ever, ever has been did in the history of boxing, my past came back to haunt me for a prior criminal conviction as my partner, my son, he met with his attorney and they put in some paperwork and I finally was able to go with Devin and join him in the 11th hour. I can't say how happy I am to have a kid that's on top and he wants me to be there as much as I want to be there for him. My son has made me proud. I helped to identify his purpose. Through that, I've been able to live out my purpose, which is to uplift and serve others. I tried to support rappers and stuff coming from Oakland you know, back in the day, during the, the 90s, the hyphy movement. But the rappers, and they didn't give me the grace and gratitude that Devin has shown me. Well, it's about time that I start looking for the stars in Sean and Bella. Bella and I have started a YouTube channel, Bella and Bill. We're going to go to places and taste food and upload it to YouTube and go to different malls and pick out clothes and, and have everybody, you know, pick it. Pick who has the best outfit. It all depends on what my kids want, of course. The last thing that I want to leave you guys with is, being a parent doesn't mean that you will be robbed of your purpose. 
I've been able to find my purpose with helping people. I am now able to use my experiences to talk to parents and kids. It gives me more motivation and more inspiration to do what I consider the best job of all, being a dad to Bill, Bella, and Sean, my partners for life. Thank you.